So uh, today we are looking at the 2025 Caltech uh, Math Meet. Uh, we're looking at the final uh, problems, uh, the hard section. Our focus will be on problem number nine, which is uh, an indefinite integral of uh, the product uh, from k equals to one to k equals to n minus one of the square root of 2x squared minus 2x squared cosine of 2 pi k over n. Uh, so this is an interesting problem. Um, and uh, let's see how we may be able to solve it. The first thing would be is let's pull out the 2x squared. Um, so when we pull this 2x squared out, it leaves us with 1 minus uh, cosine uh, 2 pi k over n in, under the square root sign. And here outside we have now a square root of 2x. And since we are multiplying uh, this uh, n minus 1 times, we can now bring this out of the product uh, sign so that we have it to the power uh, square root of 2x to the power n minus 1. And we can even go further and separate the square root of 2 and the x so that uh, square root is 1 over 2, uh, the power 1 over 2 times n minus 1. So now we have 2 to the power n minus 1 over 2 times x to the power n minus 1. Okay. Then let's go back and focus on what we have under the square root sign. Um, so cosine 2 pi k over n is the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared pi k over n using the double angle formalism. And so this 1 and this 1 go away. Um, and what we have now is uh, under the square root sign we have uh, 2 uh, sine squared pi k over n. Okay, uh, we can pull the 2 out so that eventually we have um, square root of 2 that's out there and we can pull that out so that now since we're multiplying this n minus 1 times uh, we have uh, square root of 2 to the power n minus 1 brought out of the product sign. Um, and so uh, since we have the square root here, we can take that uh, to be n 1 over 2. Uh, and the, uh, the index position at uh, the power position here, so we have n minus 1 over 2, and then we have the original 2 to the power n minus 1 over 2. This brought together would deal just 2 to the power n minus 1. And then we have x n minus 1. So focusing, um, our next uh, problem now will be um, what is the product, um, what do we get when we multiply uh, the sine pi k uh, over n, where k starts from 1 to n minus 1. So that means we're multiplying sine of pi over n times sine of 2 pi over n times sine 3 pi over n um, all the way until uh, we have sine pi n minus 1 over n. So what do, we, what do we get from that? And that is now what is going to take a little bit of our time. So the, the sine uh, pi k over n can be expanded are using Euler's expression um, or relation so that we have um, under the product sign we have e to the power i pi k over n minus e to the power negative pi k over n over uh, 2i. Okay, and so we can now pull the e to the power negative pi k over n out. Um, and since we're multiplying that uh, n minus 1 times, it's the same as now summing the, the, the k, the i here, 
and then also pulling 2 pi out, so we have 2 i to the power n minus 1. So we are summing the... We, we've chosen to change the index, the index from k to i, um, and since we're multiplying this n time n minus 1 times, it's the same as adding the, the powers, and that's what we've done here. Um, using an arithmetic progression, um, so this is the same as uh, um, adding something of a co uh, constant difference, so that is n minus 1 times n over 2. This n and this n would cancel, so we have pi over 2 times n minus 1 uh, up here. And then in the bracket, we are left with e to the power i2 pi k over n minus 1 under the product sign. Okay, so uh, a couple of things we'd want to do. Uh, so we do have e to the power negative i uh, times n minus 1 times pi over 2 here. And since i here in the denominator is the same as e to the power i, pi over 2, and then we are powering it n minus 1 times. Um, what that means now is that, uh, let's try and see how we may simplify that. So moving forward, um, what we do have here is um, the e to the power negative i n minus 1 pi over 2 over uh, 2 n minus 1 to the power n minus 1 times e to the power negative pi over 2 to the power n minus 1. So this n minus 1 uh, can be multiplied across, but then if we take it into the numerator, uh, we introduce a negative sign. And exactly now we have uh, a square of these two. Right, so we have e to the power negative i times n minus one times pi over two times e to the power negative i times n min uh, times n minus one um, pi over two. This uh, bunch together will become uh, e to the power negative i uh, n minus one pi. Right, um, and so uh, since this is the same as cosine of n minus one pi. And since the imaginary part is going to be zero, uh, that's the same as negative one uh, to the power n minus one. Okay, and then this two to the power n minus one cancels out with this two to the power n minus one. Now, um, our uh, problem now becomes how do we show uh, or how do we solve for this, uh, whatever is under the product sign? So let's see how we may be able to do that. So first thing we want to do is we may want to isolate uh, the, the product part. So let's color code it as green. Um, and let's play some gymnastics here quite a bit, right? Uh, since when looking at geometrical progression, if you have a, a geometric progression of a constant ratio uh, x, this is the same as, and we're summing, uh, summing it up to n minus 1, the same as x at the power n minus 1 over x minus 1, which means that if you multiply across by x minus 1, it means that x to the power n minus 1 is the same as x minus 1 times the summation from k equals to 0 to n minus 1 of x to the power k, right? Also, um, if we have this and we're picking this from this um, e to the power i n pi over n to the power n uh, is 1 and even if you power it by k is going to be 1 what that means is that if we set this to be equal to e to the power i to the power e to the power i to pi over n, um, then if we have a polynomial x to the power n minus 1, then it means that um, our uh, polynomial can be factorized because now we have these different roots, right, for which 
uh, these different roots here are equivalent to to one. Now, what that means is that uh, we can now say that x to the power n minus one is the same as the product of x minus uh, chi to the power k, uh, xi to the power k from k equals to zero to uh, k equals to n minus one. And then we can now pull out the x minus one term so that we are now multiplying um, from k equals to one to n minus one. What we see here is that this is the same as this, and then if we remove this x minus one term, then it means the summation from k equals to zero to n minus one of x to the power k is the same as the product uh, from k equals to one to n minus one of x minus uh, xi uh, to the power k. So just to summarize what we saw previously, so we had one expression where x to the power n minus 1, the same as x minus 1 times the summation, the geometrical progression from k equals to 0 uh, to k equals to n minus 1 of um, x to the power k. But also we showed that x to the power n minus 1 is the same as x minus 1 times the product from k equals to 1 to k equals to n minus 1 of x minus uh, xi to the power k. Um, so what if, so if we cancel the x minus 1 terms, it means that this summation is the same as this product. What if we set x to be 1, uh, letting x equals to 1 means that the summation uh, from k equals to 0 of 1 to um, k equals to n minus 1, which means we have n here is the same as uh, the summation, I mean the product from k equals to 1 to k equals to n minus 1 of 1 minus psi to the uh, power k. And we already shown that psi, or we had defined psi to be e to the power i to the power pi uh, over n. So this is the same as the product from k equals, equals to 1 to k equals to n minus 1 of 1 minus e to the power i, 2 pi k over n. Okay. So our integral, which was this, means that now if we can flip things around so that we pull the negative 1 out, we have negative 1 here in brackets, and since we're multiplying it n minus 1 times, we can pull that negative 1 out, and then now here under the product sign, we have 1 minus e to the power i 2 pi k over n. And so these two uh, interacting means we have negative 1 squared to the power n minus 1, so this just becomes 1. Um, but what now we have, since we had already shown that this product is the same as n, we can just put in n there. And clearly what we see here is that our integral is x to the power n plus an integration constant. And this is the answer that was being sought for. Um, so uh, again, a very interesting problem. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, we here at Everyday Mathematics, we do love mathematics and uh, would like to share this uh, passion and love for mathematics with you. Till next time, bye.